10 Animals with Superpowers Superheroes have always known how to surprise us with their great abilities, but these are animals that have the same skills and are 100% real. Snapping Shrimp It is a shrimp family that includes 38 genes and 600 species and that, just like the human torch, has the capacity to make and manipulate fire. In one of its legs, the shrimp has tongs that it uses as if they were a pistol. First, it separates them as if it was charging energy and then makes them collide at once. Like a match when scraped against gunpowder, friction produces heat and nearby water evaporates to form a hot bubble of 8,492 degrees Fahrenheit, as hot as the sun, which launches at 60 miles per hour against its prey. It dies scorched. The shot also produces a 200 decibels gray rumble. That is why some boats usually have interference on the sonar when they pass through the areas where the snapping shrimp live. Spanish Ibex If you are a Spider-Man fan, what this goat does will seem very familiar to you. It has the habit of climbing steep and slippery slopes. It has even been seen climbing the perpendicular wall of a dam because he likes to eat the mineral salt off mountains, which are scarce in his diet of pure vegetables. The goat reaches great heights thanks to the good grip of its hooves that have a slit in the middle, seeming to be two legs instead of one. Like Spider-Man, they are able to jump without impulse to heights of up to 13.1 feet and end up on a tree. Like the Moroccan mountain goats who like to eat the leaves of the Argon tree. Turritopsis Nutricula Wolverine has such potent regenerative powers that he has even survived the atomic bomb. Something like this happens to the Turritopsis nutricula jellyfish, who is thought to be immortal. It is easily recognizable by its phosphorescent red stomach and its tentacles that can amount up to 80 or 90. After breeding, the jellyfish carry the fertilized eggs in their stomach and then deposit them on the bottom of the sea. Two days later, the larvae hatch and form polyps, or a coral, which is its form before turning into jellyfish. After a while, the jellyfish detaches itself from the seafloor and begins its adult and independent life. But if it wants, it can return to be young again at the moment that it wishes. To rejuvenate, it travels to the seabed while its bell and its tentacles begin to deteriorate quickly, aided by special cells. In addition, the perisarc begins to grow, which is the stem with which the corals stick to the seabed. In the end, it culminates its transformation into a polyp again. This process can be repeated as many times as it wants, so it is immortal unless a predator eats it. Horned Lizard If Cyclops and X-Men can shoot lightning bolts from his eyes and kill a person, this flattened, round-body lizard has to use the same tactic because he is a little slow. Usually, it is not bothered. It camouflages itself perfectly in the soil and dirt. In any case, the thorns of its body are made up of hardened scales and the horns of its head serve as a warning. When it detects a threat, it stays still. If this does not work, it inflates its body, raises its horns and shows them, looking like something very difficult to swallow. In case the predator tries to bite, it can also dig into the grounds, and if the threatening animal still persists, it will throw a stream of blood from its eyes. To do this, it restricts the flow of blood from the head. The blood pressure increases and the thin vessels that surround the eyelids break. Scientists say that the components of the blood released are the same as those found in the rest of the body. However, it is suspected that by eating many ants with high content of formic acid, the horned lizard has some type of toxic substance within its blood. Hairy Frog You must have seen Wolverine's fans clawing dismantled adamantium. This weird animal owes its name to the fact that males develop a fur. Another of its peculiarities is that it has teeth, since it is a tadpole. It is on this list because when it feels threatened, it deliberately fractures the bones of his fingers and these move upwards, tear the skin, and sprouting Wolverine's claws. It's a true fan. Hummingbird The Flash can move his arms so quickly that he can't even be seen and even create tornadoes with those. Just like the Hummingbird. In a second, if it is still in the air, it flutters 55 times, 75 times if it flies forward, and 61 times if it goes backwards. Because yes, if it feels like it, it can fly backwards. Like the Flash, who has to eat a lot to maintain his metabolism, the hummingbird eats 5 times its body weight per day, spends between 10 and 15% of its time feeding, and between 75 and 80% resting and digesting. Wood Frog 
Like Iceman, this Canada frog also freezes. Being a cold-blooded animal, its temperature depends on the environment where it is. It can survive at temperatures of minus 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit for more than 200 days. During this time, its body is frozen by 65%. Even its heart stops beating, which, for any normal animal, would mean death. But not for the wood frog. In other species, freezing is lethal because the ice crystals could become blades and damage the cells. The water output of these would reduce their size and the nucleus and organelles tighten, causing chemical confusions. In addition, oxygen would stop reaching all tissue. However, this does not happen to the wood frog. Let's see its freezing process. When winter begins, ice forms in their blood vessels and intercellular species. Meanwhile, the frog's liver synthesizes large amounts of glucose. This substance is taken inside the cells and replaces water, preventing the intracellular space from becoming ice. The intercellular spaces, on the other hand, are freezing. Soon, its heart rate begins to decrease. Its heart beats slower and circulation is stopped in most organs. Finally, the muscular, pulmonary, and cardiac capacities stop. That's how it stays all winter. During the spring, the frog thaws, and its heart is the first thing that beats again. Platypus Aquaman's ears work like a sonar, an apparatus that emits sound vibrations and lets it know what objects are in front without having to see them. The same happens to the platypus. When it submerges to hunt, it closes its eyes, ears, and nose, but it moves its head to each side constantly. This is because at the edge of its snout, it has a location system that detects its prey throughout the electric fields that muscle movements create. In this way, he can distinguish animated objects from inanimate ones. Dung Beetle Like Superman, this little animal is known to have super strength. He loads balls of manure bigger than itself and can increase its resistance until it can lift a thousand times its own weight. They lay their eggs inside these balls and, if necessary, dig tunnels to live there. So it is no exaggeration to say that they carry their house on their back. Tardigrade Both Superman and Green Lantern can fly in space because they have the superpowers necessary to stay alive in adverse conditions. And the same happens with water bears or tardigrades, whose name comes from their walk like a bear and how slow they are. These animals are microscopic and live in the water cuticles of mosses and lichens. Tardigrades can get skin off and regenerate, and when they lay eggs, they leave them wrapped in the cuticles of their own body. They lack a circulatory and respiratory system, and the most important part of their digestive system is their buccal apparatus with a suction protrusion that crosses the walls of the plants to absorb their fluids. They are quite resistant, can withstand temperatures of negative 328 to 238 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition, they can survive radiation a thousand times stronger than a living being could stand. The Russians put tardigrades on a probe and sent them into space. Sometime later, they returned alive and well with all their abilities intact. In addition, they can withstand 6,000 times atmospheric pressure and enter a state of suspended animation called cryptobiosis, in which their metabolism stops experiencing a process of dehydration, during which they go from having 85% to only 3% water. This may take up to four years. However, in 2016, some scientists managed to revive some specimens that had been frozen for 30 years. All this makes tardigrades more powerful than Superman, and until now, no kryptonite has been discovered to stop them. If you have superhero friends, share this on social media. And if you were surprised, don't forget to subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss a single video. Until next time!